What's up, AK family? After a rough start to the trip of a lifetime, we started to feel like we would never make it. But we were finally on our way to Europe to sail the beautiful Mediterranean. We visited some of the most picturesque places and created memories that will last forever. And now we're sad to say that our journey is coming to a close in Greece. So come along as we end our adventure. Today we are in Mykonos, Greece, and the weather is perfect today. Absolutely. It is so nice. We are ready for a great day today. We don't know what we're going to do. Yeah, but that's all right. Yeah. Now we have to go down to deck three, I believe, so that we can get off, get on the tin door, and get on land to see what Mykonos has to offer for us. I'm so Come excited. on with us. We are going on an adventure today. Y'all, look at all the people that are staying on the ship. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. I wonder if they've been here before or if they just don't want to get off. All right, guys, we are here. Uh, and we were just let out. I'll show you right there. We just let out our tender. So there is a dock here where the cruise ships can port, but there is a carnival ship over there already. So we had to tender in. So I thought that we were gonna be let out by the cruise ship, mm -hmm. but luckily we're actually really close to town, which is great. So it's a good thing we tendered today. It's a very short walk into the main part of town. It's already so different than Santorini because it's not up high on like a hill. Mm -hmm. We don't have to like go up the cable car to get to town. We can just walk straight over to town. There's more beaches and it's just so beautiful. I feel like a trip to Mykonos is probably just gonna be a lot of photo taking. Just chilling, we're just chilling today. We're chilling. So we're in the main town of Mykonos. It's not far from the port, old port. We walk down the strip and we're like in the square right now. Yeah, it's hot. Feels good to me. The sun is beaming, but the breeze feels good. This is a major thing that Europe has, well, in the places that we've been through on this trip, Yeah. that I think needs to be adopted by the entire world. 100%. Is that they have these fountains where you can refill your water bottles. Look at that, y'all. And all you do is just turn it on, put your water bottle under there, refill it, and listen, it's free. And it's good drinking water. It's it free is. 99. Free! Okay, we went to a place in Athens, we left our water bottle, and they said they don't sell plastic, but mm. they offer free water just like straight up, if mm. you have your own bottle. America. America. Come on. We deserve free, clean water. Yes. Come on. Come on, America. Aqua Pure for cotton. Just been, we haven't been vlogging that much today, honestly, because we've just been walking around, taking pictures, exploring. But now we are going to the windmills here in Mykonos. It is a very popular area with some beautiful sights of the water and the windmills. We want to show you guys. It's like a five minute walk from here, so we're on the way. It's very beautiful here, y'all. Very beautiful. Every single corner that you turn, mm -hmm. it's we're like, oh my god, take a picture here. Take a, like Mykonos is stunning. You said you've been here before, huh? On the walking tour, oh <laughs> on YouTube. But I like this exact spot. Mm -hmm. I was looking at on the walking tours. Yeah, it's so nice over here. Yeah, they got a little baton over here. There was a Gucci store that was in the video, and it looked so bougie. I think it's over here somewhere. Watch. Two seconds later, we're gonna find it. We did some souvenir shopping. We are currently in Little Venice. And if you can see in the background, you can see why this is called Little Venice because it looks kind of like Venice, Italy. Mm -hmm. Now, I've never been, but that's what they say. And I feel like it does. Like, it looks like, from what I've seen in pictures, it's very crowded over here. Very crowded. There's a lot of places to eat. But the windmills are on the other side of the camera. Yeah. And we're headed that way. 
so we're headed over to the windmill. Y'all see in the distance there. And a lot of people coming from the windmill. Before we get to the windmill, we have to conquer the steps. You guys, so many steps in Europe. Just be prepared to walk a lot. So beautiful. This is little Venice right here. You can see that right there. All the blue doors, the rich color against the white, it's just unbelievable. All right, guys, we just got some goodies from this place here. <laughs> yeah, right. The name of this place here? Right, right, right. Il Forno di Gerasimo. Yeah, whatever. She we said. were walking back to the ship and the smell of this place. Mm -hmm. it was just we said Scrooge. came and grabbed us in the nostrils. Really? Oh my goodness. Two fingers in the nostrils, the, up the nostrils. Just the smell of it. And so pulled us, yanked us back in. It literally said, hold on, stop, stop. Yeah. And come in here. Yeah. <laughs> so we got, to be honest with you, I don't know what the name of this is. It looks like a pistachio. So oh. Mm, look at that, yo. Look at this. Okay. It has pistachio on top. There was different mm -hmm. kinds. Mm -hmm. There was like chocolate. One was probably Nutella. We'll probably go Cranberry, back towards the ship chocolate. and we'll try it out. Find a place to sit and try it. Yep. All right. Ooh. Dang, that was a big bite. Mm. That's real good, y'all. Is it sweet? Yes. Uh. Hold on now. Save some for me. Mm. Hold on. It's, it's good. Oh, Aaron just gave his foot a tap. It's real good, y'all. What? All right, you gotta try this, man. Okay, so as we we're walking back to the ship, I found the lemon coke. Now, one of y'all better not tell me you've seen this in America before, because I'm gonna be salty. But I got it. Even though we got the refreshment package. They don't have this, though, Aaron. It don't hit the same. I want it straight from Greece, honey. In the comments, tell me, does that even sound appealing? Greece. Lemon coke. I want to try. I want to try everything. This is a free beach. And Kyle was telling me about it. Yeah, you guys. So if you don't want to take a taxi or like a sea bus to get to another beach on the island, if you just want to get in the water and mm -hmm. lay in the sand, then this is a good spot here. It's really close to the tender, uh, where the tender boats let us out at. Mm -hmm. Very short walk right over yep. here, and you can just enjoy this beach. Yeah, chill action. And there's the ship, and we're headed to it. We're back here. Hello, everyone. And we're just... Trying to get some work done. We just want to get our announcement video just right. You all will have seen these close by now, but if you haven't, the Disney Creators Lab, it's a cohort of 21 people, emerging content creators that Disney chose. We have weekly sessions. We've already had two. We actually had one this week and it was at like two o'clock in the morning, our time. So we have weekly sessions and they teach us how to build our brand and they teach us things that are just like really helpful and valuable information. And then at the end of our sessions, they're gonna have a creator celebration and it's gonna be like a huge thing. We're so excited to be a part of it. So thank you, Disney. It's like, it's so exciting. Yep. But we just got the okay that we can announce it. So that's why we are trying to film something so that we can get the news out. Right, to just to let y'all know. We planned on doing this in Disneyland Paris. Yeah. But yes. that got derailed. <laughs> so let me show you the buttons that we have. So we have these buttons. And we were going to take pictures in Disneyland Paris with our buttons. And we were going to save that for our announcement. But we didn't get to go. Yep. Which is so unfortunate. I'm so sad about it. But so this is like plan B. Yeah. So we're going to work with what we got. Yeah, yeah. So we got work to do, and then we're going back to the room to chill for a bit. What's up, AK family? We are here in Crete, which if you don't know, Crete is the largest island in Greece. 
and it's the most populated island in Greece but we are here in Hanya which is the city <laughs> this is the, that's the city we're in it's spelled C H A N I A but it's pronounced Hanya mm -hmm. we actually don't dock right in the city we docked in Suda mm -hmm. and so we had to take a bus to get from the port to the city it was about a 10 15 minute bus ride yep and now we are here we are going to explore the city we're going to go to old port and just see what hania has to offer and we are here at the waterfront look at this guys water is clear i don't know if you can see the fishies but they're in there Guys, you can barely even see the line where the sky meets the sea. It calls me. Everything is Disney. Everything is Disney. <laughs> oh, what? No. Don't just break out a song <laughs> and say it calls me. First of all, it's not calling. That's the song. It's not calling you. See, he don't know his he don't know his Disney it's music. Moana, okay. But it ain't calling you. Okay. It is calling Let me. I want to jump in this water. Let her know. Y'all, look at how pretty. I, I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm just saying. It just looks so refreshing and beautiful. Crack your ankles right there. Probably. But we walked over to, we were just over there, and we walked over to this fort, and we're going to try and go in and see what we can learn about it. All right, guys. We've just been taking some photographs. You will see. We took some fire. We did. Let me, oh, just to let you all know. This is how we take all of our pictures. I know some of y'all is probably like, what is this child? Um, this is a tripod. I saw this on TikTok and it has been so helpful. We got this on Amazon. I'll put the link in the, in the description, but it is, re it goes really high and it just pops out like this, like a tripod. Mm -hmm. And then it has the remote which the remote holder is right here on the thing. And it's Bluetooth connection to the phone. Mm -hmm. So we just connect it to the phone, we set it up, and we take our pictures, and people be looking at us a little crazy. But we don't do it in populated areas. You all notice our pictures are like in the cut. It's a nice vibe, very picturesque here, outside of the old pool. It, it, it reminds me of Rome. Mm -hmm. Every island we've been to is beautiful. But this just being like on the coast, like this old port area, mm -hmm. beautiful. There are a ton of hotels over here. Like, take your pick. They're all so nice. You know, I literally thought we were in Italy, but we're in doggone we're Greece. We're in Greece. That's what I'm wow, saying. Wow, that it, is crazy. It's an Italy vibe for sure. Mm -hmm. Or maybe we should say it's just a European mm -hmm. vibe. It might be better. I mean, because we're in Europe. Yeah. Europe. but we're walking out we've just been like wandering the streets like no direction really just going where it looks good but this street takes us right back out to the main old um port. yeah old port area where we were earlier so mm -hmm. stop. Oh, look at her. Ooh, hey. stop so what are we doing now i feel like we should walk this way that way because we came from this way okay but look at all these people going down here yeah and y'all y'all can see all those people as far as the eye can see all the way back that way hey would you look at that what? would you look right here Wow. I can't read. I can't read. It's in it's in, it's in Greek. I can't read it. Okay, guys. I wanted to show you. So, I got some souvenirs. You guys know we get a magnet at every place we go to. If you're not familiar, you really shouldn't pay more than 1 euro for a magnet. Like mm. honestly, you shouldn't pay more than that. I got this little tin of soap. It's um pure olive oil soap. You know, olive oil is a huge thing here in Europe. So, I got this. It smells so good, too. And then I got some coasters. I'm going to give two of these to my sister and I'm going to keep two of them for us, but I really like the way these look. We're about to go and get some candy. And I want you all to know that what happened on the Wonder needs to be the standard from here on out as far it's as enough. what the limit is for me when it comes to spending money on candy. So the name of the place is Hans and Gretel. I think we all know what that is. From. Oh, it's so cute on the inside. You got the little witch out here. Let's go in. Oh, look 
Wow. And here is the candy. Ooh. Looks good too. The question of the day is what color is your mood? I'm not feeling any of this candy. I like candy. that. What? They don't have jelly beans. I'm, yeah, I'm not feeling any of them. Yay! You don't get nothing. Well, that is so disappointing. Anti I don't even know what to do. I, I just need one. This gentleman over here let me um, video him. This is the vibe that we're, we're getting in Greece right now, in Europe. Like, it's just a vibe. If you're peaceful, you can come out here and draw. Come out here and take pictures. Come out here and just have a good time in doggone Crete. Of course, you know where Kyrie is, shopping. So just trying on some dresses in this store right here. We're also waiting on our food from this place right here. So, right next door, not too bad. What's up, y'all? So, we got our euros. And while we were waiting for the food, I got a dress. And it's so cute. It's a maxi dress. Gonna do some shopping, y'all. I got such a good price on it, y'all. Like you have no idea. We just sat down like at a Starbucks, the Starbucks that's over here, because we needed to sit in the shade. It is hot. Wow. That looks look at this. good. Look at what in the world. That actually looks really good. And then I just got yeah. chicken. It's got chicken. So there's that. Our last Euros in Greece. This is post-production, AK, and I just want to tell y'all, my lips was white, so we had to blur out my mouth looking like Tyrone Bingham's. This is actually really good. This chicken is so tasty. This is like a veggie patty. It's like a, a fried garden burger. Look at this. We're breading on it. Y'all see that? Y'all, this is hitting different. Mm -hmm. And it was like three euro a piece. It's good. This chicken is good. Okay. While we're eating, we can tell you guys what it's like to be black a in Europe. We, I mean, people be looking at us. And because we have a camera, people be looking. Yeah, and it's hard to tell sometimes. Well, we can tell it's a combination of the two because we have a camera and we're talking to the camera, and because we're black, like we can just tell, like. I had one lady in Athens who was touching my hair. She was saying my hair was beautiful. And I don't take it offensively because it wasn't like she was looking at me or treating me like a pet or something. She was like, your hair is so beautiful. And she just lightly touched my hair. You know, it was all right. It was all right. Cause she was a really nice lady. We were in a store. She was working there. We do get like looks. It's not like we're the only black people. There are some, but it's very few <laughs> and far in between. Mm -hmm. Everybody's been super friendly. Everybody's been friendly. Mm -hmm. we, I don't, we haven't come across anyone that has treated us poorly, like in a restaurant or just anywhere. Everybody's been great. So at every place that we've been to. So we have no complaints like there. And even if we were treated poorly, I don't know if that would stop us from traveling. Mm -hmm. it, it depends, but. I just showed y'all the place. This is the place to come to to get a gyro. Chef's kiss, like, mm -hmm. for real. It's time to go back. Very beautiful day. I mean, this Mediterranean sun is not playing. I love it, let's go. There is a pretty decent line to get back on the bus. <laughs> You can see there's a bus right there, but I think we've got about two to three more buses before we'll be able to get on. And let's see. Oh, yeah, it goes all the way back there. The last, what time is the last bus today? Two, two o'clock. And what time is it now? It is one. One o'clock. So, got to get there a little early, I guess. But we didn't wait too long, y'all. We really didn't. Hello, everyone. It is 1.25. We're back at the ship. We're just taking it all in because this is the last stop for us. So mm -hmm. next time we get off of the ship, we will not be getting back on. Yep, we'll be in Roma. We'll be back in Rome. And it has just been a beautiful day today. I feel like we keep saying beautiful every day because everything has just been so, it has been. It's been beautiful, picturesque. It's been amazing. Mm -hmm. It's been a really great cruise. But yeah, let's go back to this. Well, everyone. 
we have come to the end of our Europe Mediterranean cruise series on our channel. Yeah. This was the best trip ever. Mm -hmm. It was so special, so amazing, and it was really great to relive these moments, you know, during editing and to be able to share it with you all. So we do hope that you all enjoyed it. This is our last video for 2022. In 2023, we have many more adventures in store for you all. We do hope that you are excited for that. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, make sure you check out our second channel where we do more casual lifestyle type of vlogs when we are not posting travel content on this channel. And that's where we've been for the past couple of weeks. Yes. If you already subscribed, you know we've been going through Vlogmas uh, and we're finishing up that. Mm -hmm. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you join that channel and show you more of our day-to-day -day lives and so you can get in with Kyra and Aaron and see what actually goes behind all the stuff that you see on the travel channel. Yeah. So you guys, for this channel though, comment down below what kind of, where would you like to see us travel in 2023? Mm. That's a great question to ask. Mm. We've got some things planned already, but we would love to hear what you guys want to see us do because who knows? Who knows? But we've already got some great stuff planned. Yep, super excited. We're very excited. 2023 is going to be great, every great. year. It just gets better and better. Higher and higher and higher and higher. Better and better every year. So if you started watching this series from the very beginning to this moment, please comment down below. We really appreciate you all watching. It means more than you know. And we wish you blessings. Happy, Happy New Year. And make sure that you set goals for yourself in 2023 as we are setting goals for ourselves. Thank you for joining us. And we'll see you in the next one. Until the next adventure.